Hi, I'm Nita. And I'm Sinead. And today we're talking all about sheets, or scabbards, or sore holders, whatever you want to call them. That's our topic for today. sheets and mainly the Segoy sheets. We had a, uh, a YouTube comment. That's uh, right. <laughs> so anyway, they asked about the Segoy sheet. They wanted to know if there'd been a modification since they had brought theirs or seen theirs last. So we thought we'll talk about it, show you all about the sheets, what can be replaced and um, yeah, why they're so good really. So I have the Segoy 360. And I have the Segoy 420, so we're talking about a 36 centimeter blade and a 42 centimeter blade. Yeah, now if you've ever had the opportunity to use these saws, they are amazing. Actually, the name Segoy means amazing in Japanese, and yeah, they, they don't disappoint, they are incredible. Little tip though, if you ever do have, particularly the Segoy 360, make sure when you're using it that this hook at the end actually touches the branch when you cut with it because trust me if you're not using it that way you'll be blown away by the difference so remember this bit has to touch the branch when you're cutting with it yeah and um speaking about the hook as well the segoy 360 is oh, the yes. only um what <laughs> the only blade that has the hook at the end so you'll notice on the segoy 420 that it doesn't have the hook mm -hmm. so you um, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of a difference. Yeah. yeah. So the blades, the metal's the same in both of these saws. The style of the tooth is the same. The difference is this one is shorter and it has the sharpened hook, whereas that one's longer and it doesn't. So obviously for speed, Sinead's going to win today. But uh, this is still amazing and super, super fast. <laughs> yes. So the, the scabbards that these come in are really cool and very high quality and really, really well made, but they are different. So you can see the Segoy 360 here is sort of moulded to the shape of the saw. So you're only ever going to put this into the case in one direction, obviously the direction I've got it in. Whereas the Segoy 420 is a bit different. Yeah, the, the straight scabbard as you can tell. Mm. Yeah, and actually that shaped scabbard is the same for a, a few of the silky saws. So if you've yeah. got an Ibuki, uh, it'll have the same shape but it'll be red. And if you've got a Kamasomi, that's the same, but black. Um, you also have the Sugawaza, which has yes. um, the orange one, bright orange. Because it colors that one. Ah, orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it can easily fit the Zora on as well. Yes, the Zora, and actually a Mazaru. Some people sometimes want a alternative scabbard for the Mazaru saw, so it will fit in that one as well. So that's a yeah. good option too. It's a shorter saw, but it still fits. So yeah, good option. So the difference, as I was sort of saying, because my one that I've got here, the 360, is you know sort of curved and shaped like the blade, uh, Silky Japan have put rollers in them, which is a really, really good little um, invention because Silky saws cut on the pull stroke, so as you're pulling that blade towards yourself. So while you pull it out of the scabbard, uh, it can actually cut, so it can cut into the scabbard. And previously it used to do that. They used to sort of like bite into it and dig into it. So you'd end up getting a bit of a hole there or damaging that edge of the scabbard. But by adding the roller, that prevents that from happening, which is really good. And if you do sort of cut into that roller over time, you can see that there's screws here. So you can actually replace, whoops, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna put my little <laughs> saw down here. <laughs> you can actually replace that whole section there um, and put a new one in if you find that it's a bit too sort of eaten up by the saw being drawn out of the scabbard. <laughs> yeah, um, the Segoy 420 scabbard is a little bit different. So it has two rollers on my saw. Yeah. <laughs> After me, now you're cutting off. Same Take care of this way. <laughs> You'll notice that the Segoy uh, 420 scabbard has the two rollers. Um, this is great for you can either have it if you're right handed, you can have yep. it on your left leg, and if you're left handed, you can have it on your um, right leg. So you just have to switch the saw around either way. So yeah, so you can enter yeah. that scabbard on either direction. Yeah, um, a little trick that I well, we have noticed when pulling the scabbard, the saw out of the scabbard, is if you do have the rollers at the back, um, is to drag the spine of yes. that blade um, across that roller, and that will save you from ripping into mm. the So scabbard pressure always accident. on the top of the blade. Yeah, especially yeah. if it's a quick removal of the branch. Yes. It's great to have that little trick in the back of your head. Mm. Um, mm. Another great thing about these scabbards as well, and all the other silky scabbards, mm. is they have the split in the end. So yeah, it's great. Nice. 
and white too, it's a wide yeah. split. Yeah. So it's great for um, letting those wood chips fall out, especially if you're using a chainsaw as well. It's, you can it tends to fill it up, up a bit, yeah. yeah. Because otherwise your scabbard just gets shorter and shorter. Yep. <laughs> so unless you snapped your blade, it's not going to work. <laughs> now these are... Oh, actually, just a back point. Talking, when Sinead said before, if you're left-handed or right-handed, so which side the, the actual saw is going to sit on, um, with our narrow saws, the Sanugis, these ones here, they're really cool because you can undo uh, the top part of this sheath here, turn it around, and turn it into a scabbard that sits in the opposite direction. So oh, really okay. great done a video about yeah, you it did. as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So you could watch that video. Oh, I, what do we call it? Oh, you'll see it on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, we'll add it as a link. <laughs> I think it's got a left-handed surrogate or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So that, that Sinead shows you in that video exactly how you undo the, the neck of that scabbard there and how you switch it around. Yeah. And again, by doing that, that's also, I think, similar to how you would if you were replacing the rollers. So a good video to watch if you want to see how the rollers are replaced as well. Yeah. And um, the Sugoi scabbard is, like, really cool scabbards. Just yeah. Check out those rollers in it. That's right. But the thing one of our customers was pointing out to us is... He said he actually sometimes finds it a little bit awkward. He was actually right-handed, but he said having his saw attached on his right-hand side, he found a bit uncomfortable and a bit awkward because he sort of had so much other stuff over there too. So he said he actually puts his scabbard on the opposite leg. So he sort of does like a cross draw when he pulls his saw out. So we thought that was a really interesting way of doing it and could work quite efficiently. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it's, it's another option to try with your, um, with your saw and its scabbard. Swap it onto the other hip and see if that's a more comfortable position for it and easier for you to draw the saw in and out. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, you go. Go. <laughs> I'm always going over here. <laughs> um, also, I'll cut in. Yeah. <laughs> As you, you can notice on these, the scabbards, it has little um, little loops through yes. the, each side of the scabbard. And the Sugoi comes with leg straps. Yeah, so that was something they had for a while and then they stopped and it's back in again. So that's yeah. really great. So sorry if you were one of those ones where there were no leg straps coming with it. <laughs> sorry, but they've brought it back again. So yay for the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> so when you get it, you will see that there's like a box that wraps around the cases. So don't just rip that off and chuck it in the bin. Make sure you check because there might be some of these leg straps in that case. And that's for both sizes, the 360 yeah. and the 420 Sugoi. So you thread them through like Sinead's doing there, and they're nice and soft too. Yeah, and yeah. the Velcro as well, mm. so. So nice and soft, really comfy and easy to put on. Just like that. Yeah, so you do top and bottom, because then you can attach it to the bottom part of your leg or the top part of your leg. Um, and then the other day we were talking to a company who wanted to sort of attach it to their EWP. Um, and you know, so there might be different times you want to attach it to actually something else or, you know, yourself as a person. And I just noticed I put it in the wrong way. <laughs> we always do that when we do it. <laughs> so when you're sliding, the hardest part is remembering which side to put it on. <laughs> um, and the easiest way to remember is that you have the soft, the very soft side, very soft side. So you thread it through the back of the scabbard, mm -hmm. um, and that way, when you flip it around, you can fit it nice through the loop of the. Scabbard. If it was in the opposite side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Sugoi 360 is a little bit different and then they have an extra piece of plastic at the back here. So the 420 is totally smooth at the back and it's just got the side loops for the leg strap whereas the 360 has this jutting out extra bit at the back here. So you can slide those leg straps through the side loops but then you can also slide it or on its own if you want through that back section as well. The other thing you could use that for is belt attachment. So if you just want to put it through a belt, you could put it through there. And then you also have the belt attachment loops at the top that, again, are, are removable. So the 360 has a lot of options for attachment. 420, this one's not removable. No, this, not, mm. this one's not removable at all. But again, you can slide something through a belt or something else if you want. And again, D this clip. hole, you put a carabiner or a D-clip through it. Same with that one. Yep. Yeah, so... That, that's how they've designed these to be attached and it, they are replaceable as well so if for some reason you lose yours you can buy the scabbard on its own. Or uh, the leg straps on its own. Yep, leg straps. Leg strap. <laughs> yep, and even belt clips. So basically if you can get it off the product, so if you can disassemble it, then you can buy that part as a replacement part. Yep. Yeah. And that pretty much goes across the board for all silky scabbards. So any silky scabbard can be purchased on its own and basically if it if you can take a bit off that scabbard then you can probably order that bit as a replacement. Yeah. So we hope that has cleared it up. Um, 
and we will also I'll add a few little photos to the bottom of the video of oh, just yes. the different um, different scabbards that we and saws we have using the leg straps. So yes, and know. showing them attached on that at that sort of calf area because a lot of people sort of think oh. That's not really going to work, but you'll be surprised how comfortable it is. And you how have long arms, is. so <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Your arm tends to hang just above the knee, so your hand, shall I say? Um, so it's actually quite a comfy spot to just grab that handle and pull it in out, particularly if you're in a tree and you're sort of already crouched. Yeah, in but a yeah, we've got spot. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got lots of little shots of all the different um, silkies attached to the legs, so we'll throw them up for you to have a look at. Yeah. Now next week. Guys, isn't it? <laughs> we are introducing a saw called the. Let me get this right. Is it Tudoku? 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 I think it's Tudoku, but don't hold us to it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is another pole saw, but it's not like your um, telescopic pole saws. It's quite a unique one. So stay tuned for next week. Um, Find out all about the Tudoku. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our video as well if you enjoyed it, and we love hearing from um, yes. from you guys. So leave a comment. And, yeah. and thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> so click the little like button if you've enjoyed it as well. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.